Today is Israel's Independence Day, and a celebration downtown was met with protests. Christian Farr shows us how the war in Gaza brought a different tone to the event this year. At Daily Plaza Tuesday. We love Israel, not because it's perfect, but because it is ours. A celebration was held to mark Israel's 76th year of independence. You are funding genocide! While just steps away, pro-Palestinian protesters rally together to speak against this celebratory event. We're trying to stop war and occupation. The Independence Day celebration, which also offered support for the Israeli hostages, was held within a gated area secured by private security. Chicago police kept both sides apart. At one point, pro-Palestinian protesters jumped on the Independence Day stage and held up a Palestinian flag while some celebration attendees walk towards protesters displaying the Israeli flag. We've really put that to the side. This is an opportunity for our community to come together amidst a tough couple of months, both what we're seeing overseas and, of course, what we're seeing the last couple of weeks on our campuses. This Pro-Palestinian protesters did end up in a standoff with police, and that standoff ended peacefully. We have seen movement, albeit slow, right? It's too little too late. An aunt of one of the hostages says there is a lot to learn on this day of independence, and she hopes that everyone will listen. This is a humanitarian crisis, and that should be the message out there to the world. Let's get my nephew, my mom's grandson, Hershkelberg, Poland, and all the hostages out now. At Daily Plaza, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.